right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. And shout out to my brother, James Davis, over on Patreon for today's request. This is probably going to be one of my most powerful reactions, or at least the most powerful video I've ever seen. I hope it is, because I'd love to talk about it with you guys, whether you're a Christian or, or not. I'd love to relate some info to you and, and, and take it from there, and we can continue to grow, and I'll pray for you regardless of what you believe in. But Ted Neely is the name of the artist. He's an American singer, actor, musician, composer, and record producer. Uh, this video we're seeing today is called I Only Want to Say. It's from the 1973 film Jesus Christ Superstar. It's actually a musical drama film. It takes place in the Garden of Gethsemane, which was at the foot of the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. We talked about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four Gospels. Uh, that's in the New Testament, in the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. Y'all know that's what I refer to it as. Where Jesus underwent the agony in the garden and was arrested the night before his crucifixion. That's where Judas betrayed Jesus for uh, 30 pieces of silver, where he identified him with a kiss and all that handed over to Pontius Pilate you know uh, Barabbas was released a prisoner a true evil person whereas Jesus was falsely accused labeled king of the Jews all that we'll get into that at the end of this we're here for the music first and foremost and then we'll we'll give a biblical perspective on it but shout out to my brother James again for requesting this don't forget to subscribe like notification bell if you rock with my reactions comment down below hate love humble me do what you got to do down below I'm still gonna rock with you but set that rant over here let's get it popping with me Peter, John, James, will none of you wait with me? Peter, John, James. I only want to say If there is a way mm. Crying out to the Lord Take this cup away from me For I don't want to taste its poison mm. Feel it burn me, I have changed I'm not as sure as when we started So he's talking to God Then his I was inspired Now I'm sad and tired Listen Surely I've exceeded Expectations tried for three years Seems like thirty could you ask as much from any other man? But if I die, see the saga through and do the things you ask of me. Let them hate me, hit me, hurt me, nail me to the tree. I'd want to know, I'd want to know my God I'd want to know, I'd want to know my God I'd want to see, I'd want to see my God I'd want to see, I'd want to see my God Why I should die Would I be more noticed than I ever was before Would the things I've said and done matter anymore I'd have to know, I'd have to know my Lord Have to know, I'd have to know my Lord Have to see, I'd have to see my Lord Have Clarity. to see, I'd have to see my Lord If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? Just a little of your omnipresent brain Show me there's a reason for you wanting me to die Far too keen on where and how But not so hot on why All right
what was coming. And he still did it. Then I was inspired. Now I'm sad and tired. After all, I've tried for three years. Seems like 90. Mm. Why then am I scared to finish what I started? What you started? I didn't start it. God. Thy will is hard, but you hold every card. I will drink your cup of poison, nail me to your cross and break me. Bleed me, beat me, kill. Before I change my mind. Oh, wow. Man, I got to see that movie. <laughs> I got to see that movie, but it's, it's going to hurt. Like, I, I know... I will probably be in tears and I'm not one to typically cry over movies but when you're talking about Jesus when you're talking about the blood of the lamb being shed when you're talking about Yahweh Abba Father God everything everything that we are and everything I base my life on now the worst part but the best part it, all of eternity all wrapped into one because to to for our savior for somebody that was literally the epitome of perfect the only perfect person to walk onto this earth ever god in human form jesus christ died for our sins nailed to the cross like literally it says hands but like back in that those days the hand was considered like from the tip of the finger down to i believe somewhere in the middle of like what we consider like our forearm area he was nailed in basically his wrist area what we refer to as a wrist he was nailed to the cross and his ankles and they put the crown of thorns on him and he was mocked and belittled and tortured whipped and man he he did that but that was this this what we just saw uh the, the song was called i only want to say he was praying to the lord because he, he has those emotions he's facing he's faced with that that anguish before he's captured before he's betrayed by judas iscariot um for just 30 pieces of silver before he's betrayed by one of his disciples or what he thought was one of his disciples they handed him over to pontius pilate he was praying he was like man i got these human emotions and i know what i was sent here for i know i was sent here to to be sacrificed as, as these people's savior like as, as the world's savior for all of their sins because the evil that has filled this world since going back to the the garden of eden when eve ate from the not the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and then handed it over to adam that's when sin entered into this world and it hasn't it hasn't ever stopped still to this day i'm a sinner you're a sinner that's why when, when we think of Jesus, when we think about the man that was, was crucified on the cross for our sins, they, they let Barabbas go, like I said at the beginning. This is all talked about Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. They, they released a real prisoner, somebody who actually did wrong. They, they, they crucified Jesus, who did no wrong, who has never done any wrong, and he, he took it on. He took it on straight on the chin, straight to whatever phrase you want to attach to it. Jesus said, I got this. I got y'all. I, I, y'all can't do it. Forgive them, Lord, because they don't know any better. I'll take it on. Put it all on me. Jesus knew that was coming, but he was still in the Garden of Gethsemane while his disciples were sleeping, like just, just wrestling with the fact that what, what am I really about to do? God, do I, do I need to drink this cup of poison? Do I have to go? Like, I'm your son. Do I have to go? At the end of the day, he still paid the ultimate sacrifice. God sent his one and only son because he loved us that much that, man, y'all know Jesus. Think about it like this. This is a completely biblical rant. So if you don't, if you're not rocking with that, I encourage you to listen. But if not, you can proceed about your day. I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Jesus could have easily, just like going back to Genesis, what happened with Sodom and Gomorrah, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, where Lot was spared, they, <laughs> Lot was, was saved. He, they, the angels took him out into the small village and they allowed him to be saved because they saw how evil Sodom and Gomorrah was, but Lot was good. So they, they saved him, but they torched Sodom and Gomorrah. 
Jesus could have easily stepped down from that cross, not, not been our savior, not taken on our sins just because he was God in human form. And he could have called down the angels. They could have torched all those people that were mocking and torturing. And it, it, easily, Jesus could have been saved. It would, Jesus would have been good. You know what I'm saying? But he said, you know what? The most humble person ever, the most humble act ever in, in humanity, no matter how long you think we've been around, I, I know we've been around for about 7,000 years, about 5,000 went by, Jesus was born, Jesus died, we count time after Jesus, 2,022 years ago, Jesus was born. Easter, we celebrate his crucifixion. Good Friday is when he was died, three days later is what we call Easter, that's when he rose from the grave, when he was resurrected and beat death, overcame it. That's what made him not just a regular, regular person, as we consider him our savior, because God rose him from the grave and he beat death. That's why we look to Jesus. Jesus didn't have to do all that. Don't ever forget that Jesus did not have to do that. But this book is the greatest book ever written. This is this is the truth, the guidance, the basic instructions before you leave earth. You need to accept this. I'm telling you, this will save your life. It saved mine. That's why I cherish it so highly. That's why I talk about it so much. And that's why Christianity is, is the way, if you truly apply it, love God, love people. That's epitome. That's what it all means, all wrapped into one. Follow the Ten Commandments as best as you can. You're still going to fall short. That's why you turn to Jesus. You repent. You, you need saving. That, that Being a Christian means that you're humble enough to admit you're not perfect. No matter how ugly or beautiful you think your sins are, no matter whether you, you're like Hitler or whether you're, uh, you think you're like Queen uh, uh, Mother Teresa. You know what I'm saying? Every, all of them sin. No sin is greater than the next. It's hard to, to, to think about it in that context, but when, you, when you're humble enough to admit that, you know what, I'm not perfect, I need a savior, I, I want eternal life in Jesus Christ, the only way to live forever, ever since Adam and Eve destroyed that opportunity for us is for God, the, the earthly opportunity for us, but we can live eternally with Jesus Christ, with God in heaven. All your loved ones, everybody you wanna be reunited with someday, that's the way, turn to Jesus. I'm just saying, just saying. James, man, I appreciate the request. Ted Neely dominated with those high notes and everything that he displayed. The message of this, Jesus was crucified for your and my sins. None of us are perfect. Face that. Stop trying to do it on your own. You don't have to. Let Jesus be that light. Lean on him. Stop trying to create your own path when the ultimate path has already been created. You can get away out of that darkness. There's always a way. I'm rooting for y'all. I love y'all. Comment below anything you deem appropriate for me to know. Any discussions you want to have, my email is also on screen if you need to reach out. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can always buy me a coffee. That's linked below. You can join the PayPal or you can donate on PayPal or you can join the Patreon family like my man James does um, and request songs. Guarantee they get done. Make sure you read through the tiers. There are view requirements and obviously I'm not promoting any sexual promiscuity, perversion, nothing like that on this channel. That's not how we get down over here. Uh, or you can become a member after you subscribe. Hit that, that join button on the YouTube but by no means do you have to I'm just grateful to have y'all here subscribe like notification bell let me know if I need to do anything else by Ted Neely uh, or let me know what other songs you guys want me to dive into and, and give my take on it again this is just this is my take this is me reflecting on this and, and citing what I know from this I still got a whole lot to learn but I'm striving every day to read this to apply this to keep moving to towards and closer to the Lord every single day so I love y'all I'm praying for you for right now Godspeed I'm gone If you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you watching first and foremost. And by now, I'm sure if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen my trading video, you see what I do outside of YouTube videos, because you know YouTube doesn't cut the check like that. So I've been trading for the past six years, a little bit over six years now. So if you're interested in what I do, you want to learn a new skill set, work is hard, or if everything is all good, beautiful, and, and blessings your way, it, it's, it's all good. I'm glad for you, but you need to learn a skill set that allows your money to work for you. So check the pinned comment down below, check out that video, and uh, we can continue to move on forward. If not, man, just keep on watching my videos, keep on putting good out into the world and trying to get better every single day. I love y'all, man. If you need to get a hold of me, email dgibbyfit at gmail.com. That's the best way to get in contact, whether it's in regards to trading. My YouTube, you just need some help along life, you need a piece of motivation, a swift kick in the butt, I'm here to help, man. So I appreciate y'all. I'm gone.